dear greetings from dr t sendil murugan associate professor and head department of information technology kakatiya institute of technology and science varangal in this video lecture we are going to discuss about array of structures okay so how we can use array in structure for creating variables uh, and accessing the array and accessing the structure with the use of array so that we are going to discuss in this video lecture in this video lecture this is week 11 lecture 2 classroom discussion topic 32 okay so here we are going to discuss about array of structure in this video lecture so while we are discussing about this topic we must be know the outcome of this lecture after completion of this lecture students will be able to develop a c program using array of structure to store heterogeneous data okay in the previous video lecture we discussed about structure declaration how to write the structure struct to keyword and tag name we have to keep then open bracket should be there and structure members should be there many members you can write as per requirements <clears throat> close brace with ending with semicolon so this is the structure declaration we declare, discussed in the previous video lecture and variable creation how we can create the variable for structure so struct is the keyword okay struct then keyword uh, structure name like tag name so you can write after that variable separated by the comma okay so variables you can write separated by comma ending with semicolon so this already we are discussed accessing structure members how we can write it so already we know that these are the structure members we are created for these structure members we will create the variable to access those members so how we can access so here variable name dot then member name okay so structure member and the dot operator is used to access the member in the c programming okay in structure okay so these things how to initialize the value also we seen for example variable dot member name equal to so assign the value so if it is integer means we can assign the value 10 okay so like that you can initialize the value so these are the topics we have discussed in the previous class now we are going to discuss about array of structure so what is array of structure why we want array of structure okay so we if we want to use more members we want to create more variables okay so if we want to create more variables to access more members at that time we need the array okay so example if we are creating the variable like student 1 okay student 1 student 2 student 3 like that if you want to uh, declare more number of variables to access the members in this point of view we can use the array so how we can write it so instead of that structure then how many students are there under students means 100 so in this point of view we can use the array for accessing the structures yes, okay so example variable declaration so structure is a struct keyword this is the structure name or tag name for that they are created the variable with 100 means 100 variable we are created how the memory will be allocated now if 100 variable created means 100 into summation of data type size of the data types of the variables declared inside the structure okay so that much memory will be allocated for this structure so because of that we must be ensure how we are given the array values okay so that many memory may be wasted if we are used 100 but we are given only 10 Uh, structure element means that there is a 90 percentage of memory will be wasted for this. 
okay so but it is the advantage to create more number of variables to access the members so see here in this example array of structure what happened now already we know that so structure declaration structure declaration law structure struct is the keyword and mark is the tag name so this should be there then open brace close brace is there these two considers the structure member or structure elements so three members are declared with the same data type for this we want to create array of elements means so we can create the variables struct structure name and variable name so this is the variable name this variable name with three array of three means three val three variable we are created okay so how we can call that student one sorry student zero student one student two student three so this three members means zero to two it will be the index of array already we know that okay zero to n minus one okay so how it is there student of zero dot subject one that is 45 student zero dot subject two that is 68 like that it will be assigning okay so for storing the heterogeneous data we are using the array of structures okay so this is storing according to their subject value with here so here it is one So now, how it will be allocated in the memory when array we are using, how it will be shown in the memory, see here, whatever I shown in the previous slide, same like that it is there, student 0 dot subject 1, subject 2, subject 3 in order, so then student 1, okay, so this is array of structure, no, continuous memory will be allocated, so the data also stored like this, first student all 3 marks, second student all 3 marks, uh, second student all three marks, then third students all three marks. Like that it will be located. So now we will see that sample program. For this, we have to create total marks. How we can calculate it? So we are created structure as marks in that three subjects are there and total also is there. For this, we have to create the array of structure. How the student may be created. So example struct is the keyword and marks is the tag name and we are creating for three students okay so what i said already three students means zero one two okay how many elements are there four elements are there so student zero dot one uh, subject one subject two subject three then total okay so like that you are giving the value clear <laughs> initial value total you can give us zero finally you can create the total so here struct marks total so again you are created separate variable so for that you can give that values student one dot total what is the value so three values are zero student zero student one student two the first student total equal to student zero of subject one student zero of subject two student zero of subject three same like that student total we have to calculate so total of total subject as well as student subjects like that it is calculated finally it will print the student wise total and subject wise total uh, using this program so how it will be there first initially the total for individual students it will display for three subjects after calculating that individual subject what is the total mark is there that is also calculated after calculating these two, again grand total is calculated based on that details, total of total. Okay, so like this the array of structure is used. Okay. So we can use <coughs> array as a inside also, inside structure also we can use array. So like if more float values is there. Instead of writing float subject 1, in float subject 2, float subject 3, we can declare the array also. Okay. 
<coughs> this is also valid declarations. Okay. So the member subject contains three elements, subject zero, subject one, subject two. The element can be accessed using the student one dot subject two, student one dot subject one, student one dot subject zero. Like that it will be accessed. Okay. This is a simple program you just see here. I declared array of three subjects and total for the previous program we written now. How we can modify it according to structure of array. Okay. So here. Instead of subject 1, 2, 3, we are given subject 0, subject 1, subject 2 using array. So, how we can initialize the value? Struct, structure name and array we are created. How many variables we are created for 3 students? Okay. 3 students, here 3 subjects plus total is there. So, we can give 3 into 4, 12 values you will give. Okay. So, each 4th value should be the 0 because that is the total. So, it will take like that only. Subject 0, uh, uh, example, student 0 dot subject 1, student 0 dot subject 2, like that it will take the values. Then finally, he is declared structure marks total. The, this variable after creating it, he will calculate student 1 dot total. So individual student wise, it will calculate the total. Individual subject wise, it is, it is calculated the total. So finally, grand total also calculated using arithmetic operator. So finally, it will print the same thing, okay, student detail and then subject details, finally, grand total. So that will be printed in the output screen. <clears throat> so this is the reflections part question. Now, you just see that uh, array of structure. In this, how to use array of structure in above program for 5% details, okay. <clears throat> the above snippet, they are given that structure of personal information and they are created only one person. So in case if you want to perform the same operation for five person, what is the answer? Okay, write it in your notebook. After that, you will check the answer. I will give 10 seconds time. After writing, we will compare the result. So if it is right, then it is good. Otherwise, you will go back and watch the video again from the reflections part one. Then you have to answer this question. Okay. <clears throat> so now 10 seconds is over. So now what is answer? So instead of a single person, we can use the array. We can write five. So five person, we are created individual structures. Okay, so this is the right answer. So now, lecture level practice problems. So you can try to write the program for develop the, the program to print train reservation ticket. So in the ticket, what are the details are there? Uh, passenger name, passenger age, and uh, destination place, source place, and what is the cost of the ticket? it will be there, okay, which class, first class or second class or sittings, like that. So for that, you have to develop the program using array of structures, okay. So at least you will take 10 passengers. So 10 passengers, they will go from different source to different destination, like that you can uh, write the program, okay. So having completed this discussion of array of structure in C language, now, Students should be able to develop a C program using array of structure to store heterogeneous data. Now you know how to use the array of structure. Based on that, how to write the C program also. In lecture level practice problem also given, you practice it and come for discussion, okay? So if you have any doubt, refer the textbook uh, programming in NCC, which is authored by Professor E. Balaguru Swami sir, okay? So and then, uh, it is under chapter 10 in that textbook, Structure and Union. Even if you have doubt, you can refer the weekly tutorial sheet. Further doubts, we will discuss in the class. You come with the doubts, you watch the video, come with the doubt, we will discuss in the classroom. Thank you for listening with uh, passion. Okay, thank you very much.